I just need to need to hit better putts. Um, this week I, I didn't really have didn't feel comfortable with my lines and my feel was a little bit off. Uh, consequently, I missed a bunch of putts, but I hit it I hit it really good this week. So that's a that's a positive going into Shinnecock, uh, where ball striking is going to be a must. Uh, obviously, way different golf shots around the greens. Lots of bumping runs and putters are spinners. It'll, it'll be very different. Uh, but uh, overall, if I hit the ball like this, I'm uh, I'll be pleased next in two weeks. Tiger, when's the last time over four days you think you hit it this well? Are we talking five, six, seven years ago, or? Yeah, it's been about about that. Yeah, I, I haven't hit it like this. No, not for a while. I mean, you know, can, you're at the top of every one of those mm -hmm. Stokes gain stats. I don't know if you look, but um, mm -hmm. do you take more out of that <laughs> than you do out of you know having the struggles on the greens? Yeah, I mean, if I just putt, you know, normally I'd, I'd probably be. Right there with those guys and out there, and you know the last couple of groups. Uh, but you know, overall, I, if I, as I said, if I just keep building on this, what how I'm hitting it right now, uh, I'm I'm in good shape for two weeks from now. It's not the U.S. Open that I remember watching or growing up and even playing on tour. Um, Mike, very different from what what Tom used to set it up. It was you know we all play from the same spots all four days. Uh, the fairways were narrow. Rough was high, and greens were hard and fast. It was very simple, and you had guys like when I, I grew up watching Scott Simpson do well, Lee Jansen do well, Payne Stork do well. You know, guys who hit the ball like that did well. Now we're getting guys who you know bomb it because there are drivable par fours. Um, the the par fours are now 520 and 540. You know, they're they're just a a different animal now, and the the only uh, the the way that it's set up now, we have to make more adjustments. And so I think that's, that's what you're seeing. Some of the, the, the kids that are now playing it, that's what they've grown up with playing. They've played, they hadn't played our U.S. Open setups. And plus we've had some non-traditional venues, you know, Chambers Bay, Aaron Hills. Uh, but I think from the now, the next, what, 10, 10 years or so, we've got all traditional U.S. Open sites. Do you think this one will not be like a traditional U.S. Open from the Depends wet. if it's dry. If it's wet, then then not really, no. Um, it'll be long, yeah, it'll be very long, but around the greens are very, it's very different. They've they've taken out about over 500 trees since last time I've, I've played it and uh, added about 500 yards to it. So it's a very different golf course. It's very open. Wind blows a little bit more. Um, I understand they're trying to give us an opportunity to run the ball up have a lot of fall-offs, um, a lot of pitch and runs and four irons and spinners and all different shots around the greens. Uh, but if it's soft, it, it's a moot point.